not good. Welcome back to Kevin's Trooper channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects for overlanding and off-roading. We do some auto repair, which looks like I'm going to be doing today. You know, the Super Duty has been dragging whenever it goes to start for about a week. I would hit the start button and it would kind of drag like the batteries were getting a little bit weak. So because of that, I went ahead and ordered the OTC heavy duty battery tester about four days ago. And it just so happens the truck didn't start this morning and the heavy duty battery tester came in today. So let's get this thing unboxed and see how it works. Well, as you guys can see, the Super Duty barely fits in the garage. And I have a wood plank on the floor that I bump my wheels into so that I know not to drive into my air compressor. But it's gonna be pretty tight working quarters in there. So let me get the hood open and get us some lighting set up and get that battery tester open and we'll get things going. Now this being a diesel, of course it has two batteries. And in order for me to properly test those, I'm gonna have to disconnect them. That way I'm only evaluating one battery and not both. So let me go ahead and get this battery disconnected and then we'll test it with our new OTC heavy duty battery tester. Now the first thing that I notice looking at this battery is it looks like I have some wet here around this this battery on this side looks like I may have some kind of seepage or leakage on something here could be a sign of what's wrong now you're gonna see some splatter on here this white splatter that is not corrosion that is that had splattered underneath the hood whenever I was uh, restoring the paint using my buffer so I'm gonna disconnect the negative side first And there's one, and there is the positive. When you disconnect a battery like this, you want to make sure you get your terminals far enough out of the way that they're not going to reconnect themselves. I'm sure Ford doesn't put the best stock batteries in these things, but you know, this has 22,000 miles on it. This is a brand new truck. So the batteries should not be going bad and I'm assuming they're under warranty and that's why I want to test them myself is when I bring this thing back this week they can't tell me it's something that it's not. Alright so here's our new tester and what we are going to do is we're going to hook our ground side up first and then we're going to hook our positive side up just like so. We're going to hit the load switch for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Did you guys see that smoke coming out of there? Wow. Okay. I guess that's just some newness smoking off of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's in the right between the week and the replace. And that one is bad. Now let me get us all set up on the other side and we'll take a look at that one. Alright here we are at the next battery. 
I apologize for the lighting and camera work on this one guys. I always try to do a really good job for y'all on the lighting and the camera work. I'm literally working in like two feet of space here. Let's get the terminals off of this one. And you know, one of the things I was thinking about is around three, two or three months ago, I had noticed that these terminals were getting corroded. And I had taken them off and cleaned them up and I had sprayed them down with some terminal cleaner. And, and, and I thought that was awfully strange for a new truck to have corroded terminals like that that early. That might have had something to do with it. All right, let's get this positive off and see what we can do here. All right, that one's off. And I'm gonna tuck that right under there where it will stay. All right, and I'm gonna put the negative on. I'm gonna put the positive on the positive. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one is weak, but it did not show as bad as the other one on the other side. The other side one was all the way in the red, and this one was just in the weak. And more than likely, the other one is more responsible for the starting. Not too familiar with these dual battery setups on these diesels. I'm just not too not too familiar with how they're wired. Now, while I have these off, I am going to go ahead and clean the terminals, even though, you know, I'm assuming. <laughs> they're going to be replacing these for me, I would think. It, do, it, it is a bumper to bumper warranty, right? We'll see. I have a feeling it's gonna be bumper to bumper minus the batteries or something like that. Now, if you guys don't have one of these little terminal cleaners, you should get you one of these. These little things are great. They're super cheap, AutoZone. They'll clean your terminals right up. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this one back down. And we'll put our ground on. And then I'm gonna go reconnect the other side and we'll try it, see if it starts. Well, you know, I've wanted one of these battery load testers for a long time and I got this one just in the nick of time. Just in time to determine that the Super Duty batteries need to be replaced. And now, even though it's under warranty, they can't argue with me and say that they do not. And so it doesn't really matter if you have a vehicle that's under warranty or not, it still is a good thing to be able to determine if something's wrong with your truck or not. Well, I don't have very high hopes for this, but let's give it a try. All right, well, it looks like I got some warranty work for them over at the Ford dealership. We're going to see what they say. Uh, I'm going to stick the charger on this thing and figure out a good time to bring it in. It's like 30 minutes away. It's pretty far over there. That's what's kind of a bummer. 2017 F-250. Well, guys, this is the perfect example of even though I have a truck that's still under warranty, by knowing just a little bit about automotive diagnosis and having a few simple tools, I'm now able to know what my truck needs before I ever bring it into the warranty department. And that makes it pretty hard for them to argue with me, even though they still might. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great group of guys that we have here. And give me a thumbs up, because you know it means a lot to me. And don't forget, we're DIY certified. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs>